Hi, I'm Edward Edward from Thingamajigs. Uh, we're making series of videos uh, for people to make musical instruments and sound makers on their own with materials that are found in our everyday households. Today I'm going to make a instrument uh, which I call a jangler uh, and you'll see why later why, why I named it that. But the materials that we're going to need are a hammer, uh, bottle caps, um, not so much a notebook, but we're going to need the spiral wire here from a notebook. Uh, a piece of wood or something that you can nail things into, and um, some hole punchers or a nail that you can use. Uh, so I'd first start, I'd first like to start with showing you, uh, we have to take this wire out of our notebook. So I learned this from one of my students. I used to rip it out and rip all the pages, which were not a great way, it was messy. But we can just take the spiral part and we can twist it, twist it like that. And if it's kind of aligned okay, it just starts to come right out. one is the hardest. There we go. So here we are. Um, next we want to uh, punch holes into our bottle caps. So I brought just a piece of wood that I found outside. I just use that so I don't um, punch any holes in my kitchen table. So get a bunch of bottle caps, as many as you have, and we're basically going to punch holes in them. I found the best way to do it is to uh, punch it um, with the face side downward and then take a kind of hole punch or a nail and just tap a hole in it. And I want to make sure the bottle cap can go through. And as you can see, there's a hole there. Um, you want it big enough so they, these will slide through the wire. So I'm going to do it for a bunch. You might, want to do, you might want to do this, depending on how many bottle caps you have, I would suggest about 10 to 20. Okay, so here is our, we'll stop there. We have about 15 or so here. Um, so here's our bottle caps that we just uh, punched holes in. Uh, you want to get them as close to the center as you can, but obviously they don't have to be exactly in the center. Uh, and now after that, you, what you want to do is you want to take your uh, spiral wire, and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of hold it from the ends, not the very not the very ends, but just one or two links up, and I'm going to. We're going to pull it and we're going to kind of stretch it. We're kind of letting it unwind a bit. Here I go. Pull it. And I kind of twist with it to unwind it a bit. It's getting there. I notice with these instruments, you really want to almost completely unwind it. So you want it kind of like like that. You see the, I don't know if that picks up on the camera okay, but something like that, kind of like a waveform. And then on one end, you want to kind of twist it and make sure there's a stop because the, when the bottle caps are going to feed through here and you want them to stop, you don't want them to fall right out. So there I just kind of left a little bit there. And then the other end where you want to feed it, kind of used, I'm just going to do that. And then if you have a plier or a needle nose plier, you can just kind of get it so it is straight as possible so they fit in there like that. All right. So now this is the point where you kind of feed the bottle caps through. 
Um, you all want them going one way. Uh, I don't think it matters if you put it this way or that way. I just kind of go like that. And then it goes through. And then it stops. And you do that with all the bottle caps you made. Okay, so here we have a nice little, looks like a caterpillar or some kind of thing, colorful. And then you just let it drop. And they go right down like that. If you stretch it, they go down. Some of them get caught, so you gotta kind of find out the parts that get caught. But once you get that end, then you can, when you're done, if you wanna add more, go for it. Or you can just tie up the other end so it doesn't, so it stops again. And then you have a jangler. Now, of course, the more bottle caps that you put on here, the more they will jangle and all that. So there's about 15 here. If you do, if you double it, 30 or so, you'll get a nice sound. And that's why I call it a jangler, because it makes a jangling sound. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you can make this at home uh, and uh, make some pretty cool jangling sounds with it. Thanks, everybody, for watching.